In a small Texas town, where the dust rarely settles, the perfect life of Sheriff Danny Owens begins to unravel in the most unexpected way. His pride, status, and public image hide a web of deceit, and his darkest secrets are about to explode into the open. In the early years of their marriage, Danny and Lila Owens were the picture of a happy couple in their small Texas town. Lila was a steadfast partner, devoted to Danny, supporting his career from the very beginning, back when he was a rookie deputy and she was the quiet young woman he had charmed with his big plans and charisma. They were newlyweds with dreams of a peaceful life, and though they never had children of their own, Lila poured her heart into supporting Danny's ambitions. She knew from the start that he was a man who craved attention, who wanted respect, and for years she did everything she could to help him reach the position of sheriff, where he eventually found the admiration he sought. By 2010, Danny was 52, a well-respected figure in town. The sheriff, who'd done so much to keep the community safe. To everyone around them, they looked like the perfect couple. Lila, now 50, was admired as the supportive, quiet wife, often seen by Danny's side at public events, always smiling but never drawing attention to herself. She was deeply invested in the town, participating in charity drives, attending church regularly, and making herself known as someone dependable, who kept the community's traditions alive. Beneath the surface, however, Lila had been carrying the weight of Danny's betrayals for years. Though they were never public, Lila knew about Danny's other women. Brief, secretive affairs, he believed she was too naive to notice. But Lila saw everything, even if she stayed silent. The truth was, Lila had spent years swallowing her hurt, telling herself that Danny's indiscretions were small sacrifices in exchange for the life they'd built together. She was used to ignoring the whispers, pushing down the quiet embarrassment when she'd hear rumors or see glances that lingered a little too long. Danny, for his part, was a man of pride, someone who believed he was untouchable, someone who thought he could act without consequence. As the town's sheriff, he was confident that his public image would shield him from scrutiny. But this time, he had gone too far. It was early the March of 2010 when Lila first heard the news that would shatter her world. She was at the grocery store, casually scanning the aisles, when she overheard two women murmuring in hushed tones. It wasn't uncommon for people to gossip in a small town, but Lila felt a chill when she heard her husband's name. The women were speaking about an affair. Danny Owens, they whispered, had been seeing a girl, Sarah Price, a high school graduate barely out of her teenage years. They went on, suggesting that Sarah might even be carrying his child. Lila felt the air grow thick around her, the weight of it pressing down on her until she almost couldn't breathe. She left the store without a word, her mind racing. The humiliation, the betrayal, it was more than she could bear. Danny had always assured her, in his own indirect way, that these affairs meant nothing, that she was the one who truly mattered. But now, his actions had crossed an irreversible line. Sarah Price was 18, young enough to be their daughter, and pregnant. It wasn't just another affair. This was a scandal that would devastate the image Danny had worked so hard to build. Lila knew that people would talk, that the town would judge her, wondering what kind of woman allowed her husband to act this way. The shame felt unbearable. For days, Lila walked around in a daze, thinking back to how things had changed over the years. 
She remembered their early days together, the long talks they would have about building a life and the promises they made. She thought about how she had always been there for Danny, even when he grew distant, even when he began keeping secrets. Her quiet strength had held their marriage together, and she had stood by him through every one of his flaws. But now, all she felt was the cold realization that everything she had invested in their life was crumbling. By the second week of March, Lila's sorrow had turned to anger, a quiet but powerful rage that grew stronger each day. For years, she had sacrificed her pride, her sense of self, so that Danny could shine. And he had repaid her by shaming her, by treating her as if she were invisible. Lila knew she had to act, but she wasn't going to do anything reckless. She wanted Danny to suffer in a way that he would feel deep in his bones. She wanted him to experience the loss, the ruin of everything he had taken for granted. In the days that followed, Lila began to form a plan. She knew she would need patience, that she couldn't afford a single misstep. Danny's career was everything to him, his pride, his identity, his position as the town's sheriff. If he lost that, he would lose the one thing he valued above all else. And so, slowly and meticulously, Lila began to gather information, piecing together the evidence of his infidelities, noting down each interaction she'd observed over the years. She became keenly observant, noticing patterns, and started keeping a small notebook to document each detail. It was like an invisible record, a quiet promise to herself that she would expose him bit by bit until there was nothing left of the man everyone thought they knew. Her anger fueled her resolve, but Lila remained careful, even cordial, around Danny. She kept up appearances, waiting for the perfect moment to begin her revenge. She would leave small clues around the house that she knew he would notice. A newspaper with an article about local scandals. A letter left open about legal consequences of infidelity. She knew that it would start to unsettle him, but he would never suspect her. For years, she had been the supportive wife, the one who stood by him without complaint. Now, she was transforming herself into his greatest threat, someone who would bring him down piece by piece. As the days turned into weeks, Lila's patience remained unshaken. Each morning, she'd watch Danny leave for work, oblivious to the storm building around him. He would smile, the same smile that had once made her feel secure, a smile that now filled her with contempt. Little did he know, she was about to unravel his carefully crafted life, and she would be there to watch as his world came crashing down. After weeks of lingering suspicion, Lila Owens had finally heard enough to confirm what she had feared. Danny was having an affair, and it wasn't just another passing fling. This time, he had become entangled with Sarah Price, a young woman half his age, still only 18. The whispers around town reached her ears in bits and pieces. As neighbors exchanged glances and half-spoken remarks, about the sheriff's indiscretions. It was a small town after all, and secrets rarely stayed hidden for long. But for Lila, hearing the rumors turned into a searing pain uh, she couldn't ignore. She felt it in the pit of her stomach, a deep ache that settled in and wouldn't let her rest. The life she'd invested in, the years spent as Danny's devoted wife seemed suddenly meaningless. Once she realized the truth, her shock quickly gave way to a determined, calculated resolve. Lila knew she had to move carefully if she wanted her revenge to have the full, devastating impact she intended. 
On the evening of March 3rd, she sat down quietly in her bedroom, her hands shaking slightly as she opened an empty notebook. Her mind raced as she considered the risks and rewards of what she was about to do. This notebook would be her weapon, her tool, to dismantle everything Danny had built. She decided she would follow him, document every one of his secret moves, and then use it all to unravel his life from the inside out. In the following days, Lila began tracking Danny's every movement with a precision that was new to her. She paid attention to his daily routines, his unusual absences, and his late returns. Her observations told a story that was all too familiar. Danny was meeting Sarah in a secluded cabin off the county line, a place where he had begun to build a separate life, carefully hidden from the town's eyes. Lila felt a pang of anger as she pictured them there, and the betrayal pushed her forward. She even went so far as to hire a private investigator, someone who would capture photographic proof of her husband's affair, someone to help bring his secrets into the light. The private investigator wasted no time, following Danny with the same determination Lila felt. She had paid him in cash, ensuring that her involvement would remain untraceable. Within a week, the investigator returned with evidence more damning than even Lila had anticipated. The photos showed Danny and Sarah in intimate moments, the lines between them unmistakably blurred, their affection blatant and carefree. There was something raw and unguarded in the images that cut Lila deeply, not because she cared about Danny's affection anymore, but because of the disrespect it signified. Here was a man who believed he was untouchable, someone who thought he could live two lives without consequence. When the investigator handed over the images on the March 10th, along with copies of financial transactions, Lila was stunned at the depth of Danny's betrayal. It wasn't just the affair. It was the extent to which he was willing to use his position to fund his relationship with Sarah. Bank transfers showed Danny pulling money from the Sheriff's Department Fund, thinly disguised as official business, but funneled directly to Sarah's expenses. It was a detail that felt like a final blow. Danny's corruption ran deeper than she had expected. The Sheriff's pride had led him to abuse his office to pay for a fantasy that would ultimately be his undoing. Lila carefully laid out all the evidence, arranging the images, receipts, and bank records chronologically. She created a meticulous timeline that suggested she had been watching for much longer than just a few weeks. It was a chilling document, one that outlined the gradual decay of a marriage and the moral failure of a man once respected by his town. As she looked over the assembled evidence, a sense of satisfaction settled over her. The documentation was clear, thorough, and damning enough to ruin Danny's life entirely. With her plan in motion, Lila moved on to the next step. She needed to ensure that this scandal didn't stay hidden. She began to leak details to the local press, slipping small but potent hints about corruption within the sheriff's office sending anonymous notes to reporters, hinting at Danny's misuse of funds and his questionable relationship with a girl far too young for him. She took care not to reveal everything at once, letting the information trickle out slowly, allowing the rumors to grow. Within days, the whispers round town grew louder. People speculated, piecing together what little they knew each new piece of gossip adding to Danny's downfall. Lila's strategy was working perfectly. She watched as Danny's behavior began to shift. He grew tense, suspicious, aware that something was going wrong, but unsure where the threat was coming from. 
Lila noticed the way his shoulders tightened, the guarded expression that settled over his face. She knew he was feeling the pressure, and she relished every moment. As days turned into weeks, the local media became increasingly interested in the sheriff's office. Reporters began sniffing around for the truth, eager to expose corruption in their town. Lila knew that Danny's reputation was crumbling piece by piece. Once, he had been the town's golden boy, someone who commanded respect with just a nod or a smile. Now, that same respect was slipping away, replaced by suspicion and doubt. The townspeople were beginning to question the man they had trusted, the sheriff they had believed to be their protector. The illusion of Danny's perfect life was unraveling, and Lila could see it in every uneasy look and strained conversation he had. With each tip she sent to the press, each small detail leaked, Lila felt her own strength return. She had been invisible for so long, the silent wife standing in the background. But now she was the one pulling the strings, the one who controlled Danny's fate. She knew that soon, very soon, the town would turn on him completely. The shame would consume him, and everything he valued, his pride, his reputation, his career, would be stripped away, leaving him with nothing. And for Lila, it was only the beginning. By late March, Danny Owen's world had become a ticking time bomb. The quiet whispers that had started as mere gossip now rumbled into a storm of accusations. The sheriff's department, under mounting public pressure, had no choice but to initiate an internal investigation. For the first time, Danny felt the walls closing in, the eyes of his trusted colleagues shifting from respect to suspicion. As the scrutiny grew, he found himself scrambling, desperately trying to bury any traces of his wrongdoing, unaware that his own wife was the source of every carefully planted rumor and damning leak. The investigation added a new layer of chaos to Danny's life, but it was Sarah Price's unraveling that truly threatened to drag him down. Sarah, who had once believed in Danny's promises, now found herself facing the harsh reality of her decisions. Her family, appalled at the scandal that had attached itself to their name, turned their backs on her. They were furious, devastated, that their daughter had involved herself with a man so much older, a public figure no less, and with a child on the way. Sarah's once secure world crumbled, leaving her penniless and alone. Her only remaining connection to Danny now laced with bitterness and betrayal. As Sarah reached out to him for support, Danny began to pull away, his promises to take care of her slipping under the weight of his own troubles. She was a complication he could no longer afford, and she sensed it each time he dodged her calls, each time he canceled plans. The hope she had once clung to, the belief that he would protect her, began to fade. Alone, abandoned, Sarah faced the harsh judgment of her small town community, who turned their backs on her just as her family had done. By the end of March, Danny's situation had grown increasingly desperate. At a tense town hall meeting on March 30th, the people he once counted on for support turned on him, demanding explanations for missing funds and voicing concerns about the rumors of his affair with Sarah. This was no longer just gossip. It was a full-blown scandal. The community he had served for years wanted answers, wanted to see if the sheriff they trusted was the man they thought they knew. Lila watched from the back of the room, 
her expression calm, observing every detail as Danny tried to respond, his voice faltering under the weight of the accusations. She saw the cracks in his once unbreakable confidence, the way he seemed smaller, more vulnerable, as people shouted questions at him, their voices sharp with disappointment and anger. Danny's face grew tense, his hands shaking slightly as he realized that his secrets were no longer safe. In the eyes of his colleagues and neighbors, he saw judgment and betrayal. The anger that simmered within him grew as he scanned the room, catching a glimpse of Lila watching him with an unreadable expression. A sliver of satisfaction glinted in her eyes, and he felt the sting of humiliation. Lila's calm demeanor in that crowded room was her victory. She had torn down the fortress of pride and control he had spent his life building. With each question, each accusation, she watched him realize that his perfect life was slipping through his fingers and there was nothing he could do to stop it. The days following the town hall were unbearable for Danny. The scandal haunted him everywhere he went, at work, at home, in the streets where he once walked with pride. He felt the judgment of every passerby, sensed the shift in every conversation. The walls of his life were closing in, and he knew someone was behind this. On the night of the April 2nd, driven by a fury that had been building for weeks, he confronted Lila at home. He had pieced together enough to suspect her hand in his downfall, but he didn't anticipate the depth of her betrayal or the trap she had prepared for him. In a blind rage, he confronted her, his voice filled with venom, his movements erratic and wild. Lila had prepared for this moment. Hidden carefully in the room was a recording device, one she had set up earlier that day, expecting Danny's confrontation. His words grew darker, his anger transforming into an ugly, violent display as he tried to silence her once and for all. Lila, however, managed to stay calm, biding her time, knowing she was capturing everything she needed to secure his fate. As his threats escalated, she slipped away, fleeing to a neighbor's house, her heart racing, but her mind focused. Danny, too late, realized that he had been recorded, that his own words and actions were the final proof that would seal his ruin. The following morning, Lila wasted no time. Armed with the recording, she went directly to the town's prosecutor, presenting the evidence of Danny's threats and the attempted assault. The prosecutor, horrified by the depths of corruption, deceit, and violence now surrounding the sheriff, wasted no time in pressing charges. Danny's attempts to deny the accusations only made things worse. With the affair, misuse of public funds, and now an attempted murder charge, his career and his life collapsed completely. As news of Danny's arrest spread, the town's reaction was swift and brutal. Once beloved, the sheriff was now a figure of disgrace, a man whose moral failings had left an indelible mark on the community. Neighbors who had once waved at him in the mornings now turned away. Colleagues he had once trusted refused to speak to him. The scandal was all anyone could talk about. The details of his downfall discussed in quiet tones in every corner of town. For Lila, this was the final act of her carefully planned revenge. The town she had once felt trapped in now felt like her sanctuary, a place where she was finally free. Danny's trial was swift and unrelenting. By the time he stood before the judge on September 12th, the evidence against him was overwhelming. The community, still reeling from the scandal, wanted justice, and the courtroom was packed with people who had once respected him. 
people who now looked at him with cold judgment. His defense was weak, his reputation already destroyed. When the sentence came, 11 years for attempted murder and corruption, there was a sense of finality, of a chapter closed. For Sarah Price, the young woman who had once believed in Danny's promises, the aftermath was just as severe. Disowned by her family and ostracized by the community, she became a shadow of the girl she once was. Her life, marked by the scandal, carried a permanent scar. Wherever she went, people recognized her, judged her, leaving her to face a lifetime of shame. And for Lila, the woman who had once stood in Danny's shadow, there was finally a sense of liberation. She had broken free from the role of the silent, supportive wife and exposed the truth, ensuring that the man who had betrayed her paid for his actions. She moved on with a quiet dignity, her life forever changed, yet somehow lighter. She knew that her actions had brought a kind of justice, not just for herself, but for everyone who had trusted and respected Danny. And for the town, it was a lesson in the high cost of betrayal, a story that would linger in the community's memory for years to come. Lila watches Danny being led away in handcuffs, the years of silent suffering finally ending. She feels neither guilt nor satisfaction, only a profound sense of liberation. The town may forget Danny's transgressions over time, but the sheriff's disgraceful downfall will live on as a warning of pride gone unchecked and the power of a woman betrayed. This is very similar to the case where a wife exposed her husband's secret affair with her twin sister at funeral. Now this case is a very funny and interesting one, and I'm certain you will enjoy it. So check it out, and like and subscribe so you do not miss out on our daily updates.